Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. And in today's video, we are going to be doing some adrift because I've, done, I've unlocked a few epic cars in a um, in some wheel spins. But not just that. On Friday, I'll be purchasing my my steering wheel mount. So I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully, it'll be uh, around Monday, Tuesday, and then I can set up my steering wheel setting and shifter and the whole lot and then we can start bringing some epic steering wheel drifting to the channel i'm looking forward to that but not just that there's some other epic content coming along the way very soon which i cannot wait to bring up but enough of that let's jump into the z4 and give it a test drive and see exactly how it performs before we do a p epic fun drift build on it yeah so um I'm quite excited for the next coming weeks and coming months because it's going to be some epic content coming. I've got so many things planned for the channel in the near future that I just cannot wait to get my hands on. But nevertheless, let me know what you guys think of the content. If you like this type of content, smack a like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the content. And as always, guys, stay awesome. As always, appreciate the support. This car is absolutely beautiful. Even sounds quite nice. BMW Z4. I don't, know, I don't even know, I didn't actually even look what model it is. 2011 model. 2011 model. Now, it doesn't really give me a low loss. But it's how it drives, it's how it performs. Not a whole lot of bike at all. But nevertheless, this is standard. Completely stock out the box. No problem on the steering. But, not too bad. Not the best one I've ever had, but still, though, you can still definitely throw it. It's quite fun actually. Yeah guys, also let me know what type of driving you'd like me to do as well when you do get the whole new stereo setup. But one thing I will say now though is that I will be running oh, at the once I get it I won't have a um, camera or any sort of GoPro camera at first so you won't be able to see my driving but i can guarantee you i will be using this demo but hopefully in the next coming months i will be having setting up some sort of camera recording as well so while i'm driving and using the wheel you'll see exactly how i, how I perform in this map but yeah so let's see how this
scan. It's upgraded and see exactly. Oh no, body kits. Never mind, man. Yeah. So basically, obviously, um, I want to. There is one. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know what I should do. If I should use a um, GoPro camera, or if I should just get a um, like a webcam because I was looking it up and I saw like one of these very good webcams. Like, streamers use as well and maybe use that as my uh, recording so when I when I record it records the gameplay at the same time so I don't have to like implement that into my um, when I do my editing it's all done in one let me let me know what you guys think in the description down below which one shoe which one is going to be better you know as I always value your guys opinions but I cannot wait to bring that to the channel. It is going to be absolutely insane. I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to do this setup for a long time. But you know, everything you got to start somewhere, and everything does take time. And if there's one thing that is the most crucial thing is money. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always something. So at least I, I want. I, I, I know I've said this before, but I don't want to do a drift suspension. For a while because i've got so many drift cars i want to have like racing suspension or sports i'm going to do racing because I, I think you know all most of my cars are so drift crazy i want to try out i want to do a fair few you know like different ones so you guys can see that you don't just need to build a fully drift car you can and i don't tune my cars also to make it somewhat easier for you guys so you guys can also see exactly that you know, you don't have to tune your cars to drift them. You don't have to put it on um, on drift um, settings. You don't have to put a drift suspension on there just to be able to drift the car. You can do it all just how you guys think, you know, or how you guys feel, should I say. You know, if you don't want to spend the most craziest money or you don't want to, if there's certain ways you want it to look, it's entirely up to you guys. And that's and, and, and that's what all, and, and that's what my channel is pretty much a lot of uh, pop or partly all about, you know, trying to be down to it, trying to make it easier for everyone else, you know, because I've seen so many people out there they like, they talk about tune and all this and that, then you just like, yeah, but that's although they explain to you how to tune cars, it's they what they don't seem to grasp is a tune a car, although they may say, oh, this is the easiest way to tune a car. You know to or an easier way for it like, to um to drift but you know call it this way is like yeah that's the way they've set it maybe to their personal preference you the thing is each person each individual in the whole entire world how will only drive that way everyone drives differently no one is perfect no one drives the same you know there is no there is no such thing as like oh i, I can drive like you everyone has their own way of driving everyone has their own way of drifting and that's just what it's all about you know same with like you know if some people if even people even when people that tune their cars there's always something that somebody will do differently and and and, and, and that's what it's all about you know and i think me i don't i don't think you things people have their way of doing things and if you want to do to the best of your ability you're obviously going to tweak it now i can tweak it but then i think to myself well people that don't want to tweak it will find it a bit too confusing or a bit inconvenient they just want to build a car and just go out there and have fun that's what that's what i'm all about i prefer just building a car easier to, for everyone and then that way you can see if you like it then you know you can check my channel out and then you can uh, smack a thumbs up you can and you can either like it or you can hate it and just you know don't watch my videos again but that's entirely up to you but me i just i do my i do it my way and i think that's exactly what i'm going to stick to it just to make it easier for everyone else and that's why i do this and that's all these videos because I, I i enjoy doing them but also like helping people out to find like what's easier for them you know because you like i said i've been using a controller for a long time and you can easily drift to the controller 
you can easily I don't want to, it's probably a little bit it is definitely a bit harder using a wheel because you don't have you not you have the whole 360 you know rotation where well almost 360 but yeah well pretty much 360 rotation where on the um control you just have a left and right basically but nevertheless i think it would be cool though guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think of this video if you guys if you guys if this has helped you out in any way you know so let's see what it was at 335 right up to 637 break let's bounce our cost made it grand again you don't have to spend that kind of money on it i didn't have money so i was doing some grafting you know let's do some car packs while we're at it we'll even get like a wheel spin in the works who knows everyone's been saying about you know getting the crown vic would that be something else i even i even commented i don't know if, if any of you watch um slap trains uh, videos he's very good and very cool actually i watch his videos all the time he's got over two million views um over two million subs i think two million and thirty thousand or something like that I said, I said in one of his videos he made in a comment, I said, if I want a crown vig, how about I'll give I'll give it to you if you give me a shout out. <laughs> uh, I think one or two people actually liked that comment though, but I don't I, I don't know if you liked it. I can't remember, but yeah, I just I I I, I laughed at myself and I wrote that. I thought it was quite funny. So yeah, maybe if if he, if, if any of his viewers do watch us. Go on, tell him that. See what happens. How cool would that be? Oh man, that would be insane. That would actually be sick. Right, now we got Max, car pack, and that one. So, um, should we still design, actually? Make it, because it's a bit blunt. There's my, one of my, there's one of my designs. My Subaru, I think that's an epic little design there. Let's see what some of these people have. There's like literally three of a very similar. Oh, it's all done two by the same guy. I mean, someone else kind of like somewhat copied his design. The only difference is he has a fender, a wing on the back, but the paint job itself is pretty much the same. How random is that? Let's have a look at yeah, that's quite cool. I like that. It's a like really original type of the colors. I think I'm gonna go for that one. That looks quite dope. I do like that. Shout out and props to this to this chap that actually did this paint job. It looks really quite cool. Quite impressed with it. So yeah, let's take this card and see exactly how it will perform from a standard stock 335 to a 637 brake. Give it a bit of a test run. Definitely sounds nice as well. Love the colors, looks stunning. Oh, 
And I lost it there. Just move cause pounds in front of you. It's so loud, it's too used to them. They have one brain to do. Like Fix the damn glitches in the game. I 
One second, let's go close the blue. I just told a try that's what happens. video hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment down below let me know what you guys think of the video if you guys did enjoy it in any way or shape or form hit that subscribe button as i will always appreciate the support guys don't forget to share with friends and family as it would help me out a great deal don't forget to comment down below let me know what you guys think of the content of this video let me know what you guys think of the build of the spot let me know what you guys think of the paint job i think it's absolutely a beautiful paint job fantastic work original colors from the bmw z4 well any bmw basically but nevertheless and yeah i also can't wait to bring you some epic content with my new stand will set up very soon so stay tuned for that anyway guys hope you guys have a fantastic day I'm out. Peace.